Um, hello everyone. Um, today I am going to share you again another programming video. Um, it's an informative video and uh, at the same time educational, right? And uh, I'll be sharing to you guys another example of actually uh, the same example that we I'll be using uh, as I did in my previous uh, C function programming video, right? And I'll just to will just to you know um do some some revision on it and uh, along the way i'll try to you know explain the behavior and the changes that they'll be uh, making right on this uh, particular video but uh, by the way um i am so happy with the, the you know our subscribers and uh i am hoping that you know if you're not yet uh done subscribing with this channel please uh right uh, click subscribe and uh please share this video or channel to your friends right relatives who are you know wanting to learn programming right? especially in c programming language by the way i i i have uh i i also have another video content that's it's actually a joke uh, with boss edgar um, I can assure you guys when you tend to look at it and watch it, um, you'll be enjoying and you'll laugh at it, right? Uh, so funny, so funny, okay? Um, here, um, I'll be I'll be sharing to you my my notepad, right? It's in here. Um, the same the same programming problem. Uh, we'll be you know we'll be asking for two numbers, and then. Our program will then display the maximum one and the minimum one right so if you can recall uh, we have this we have this uh, three functions right the first function is to get or to identify the maximum value and uh, uh, it needs two parameters all right and uh, the first parameter will be stored at num1 the second parameter will be at num2 okay and in here i also have the second function in mean um this function will give us the minimum number or the minimum value the same parameters that uh, we need in here right and the last or the third function is uh, get value we'll be getting value from the user right and uh, while you know asking for value we are in need of three parameters a b and c character right because um, like i said on my previous video um will be what uh, will be displaying enter then followed by the parameters that will be passing first second right that's it and then uh, whatever is the value of a b and c that that will also be the placement of this data placeholders right so um this is it. I mean, this is actually the, the, the sample program that uh, I was discussing on my previous video. Today, I am going to use the same, the same, that example, but then we'll add another uh, function, right? There are only how many functions? Three. Okay. The first function is to give us the maximum value. The second is for the minimum value. And the third function is to get for num1 and num2, right? So um, here, when we are to invoke get value function, we'll be passing parameters, right? And whatever value that we are that we are getting in here, because this get value will ask for a value from the user, that will be returned and be then received by first, right? Uh, same with the second line okay second uh, use get value for the second time and then oh uh, we'll be passing what uh, to in d no right so please remember our previous discussion and then the third line is uh, will be you know uh trying to use max function and while trying to use max function will be passing whatever is the value of first and the value of second it's coming from here okay so same with here 
uh, minimum will be using min function all right and then while using min function will be will be sending first and second values and whatever decision there whatever you know because max and min will give us the minimum and the maximum value that will be returned back and received by maximum variable and minimum variable respectively right now here after all these things we'll then display what is the maximum value and the minimum value all right but uh, okay so that is why in here when we are i'm sorry um here when we are going to run the program, same program that I, I showed you at my notepad, uh, our program is asking for two values, right? This is actually the result of this one, okay? First and second, get value. And the, the, the one is T in here and the two in D are actually parameters that uh, we passed on, right? This is here, in here, all right? And then when we press enter K, this seven will be stored to first and eight will be stored to second. And when we invoke max uh, function, we are going to bring the value of first, which is 7 in this particular example, and 8. Alright? Same with minimum. And after such, uh, our function will then give us back the maximum value and the minimum value. So, when I'm going to press enter K, um, our, our, our program displays the maximum and the minimum. Okay? Uh, this 8 are, is actually coming from the value of here, right? And 7 is coming from the minimum. Now here, the one responsible for displaying the maximum of the minimum in here, this one, is because of this printing. Now, in function programming, we can add another functions, right? So what if, okay, what if uh, we'll try to... Um, deactivate this one right and then we'll create another function okay we'll name it as display all right and uh, when we when we when we um when we are going to to call display we will be bringing what um the word or the parameters uh what is this uh maximum okay Please follow my my, my 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 screen okay maxi mom right these are actually parameters that will be passing while invoking all right and then when we are going to to use or to display the minimum then we'll be passing the word minimum also all right are you following okay so here so this is it and then uh we'll try to uh let's say for example uh, will you change this to w right how r and then one this one will will change it to s all right then not so so as not to confuse you and in here uh instead of uh, maximum we'll be using r right as our variable are you following and in here we'll be using s all right so this maximum will be changed to r anyway this is just a variable and this one is for s so when we are going to call display functions we'll be passing parameters like m a x i m u and m plus whatever is the value of r all right this one same with the, the 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 next line when we are going to use display we'll be passing parameters also this time minimum m i n i m u m and bringing also whatever is the value of s all right that's it so we can now delete this line all right so we'll delete this okay so um we are now trying to use display so in here we'll try to add display functions all right so we have this car a car b car c car d 
car A, car F, car G, right? This is for M, the word maximum and minimum. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Letter A will receive M. Letter B will receive A. Letter C will receive M. Letter, right? So maximum. And then, we will be also uh, needing an integer variable. Let's say, for example, Y, right? And this Y uh, will receive whatever is the value of R, right? And whatever is the value of S. Okay. So, we'll try to copy this one and create um, detailed of display function. Okay. And then, um, what is the task, specific task of display? It will print whatever is all right, the value, box last n, we'll, we'll try to put box last n. And then, uh, percent C, percent C, percent C. We need to have how many percent C? Seven, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Why? Because we are having car A, B, C up to F param uh, G parameters, right? And then, eventually, um, uh, maximum equals right then followed by percent d this percent d will receive whatever is the value of y right y this one are you following so but prior to y we'll be using a b c d e other e f and g this is for the word maximum minimum and then followed by your our our, our y right so when we are going to execute this program uh the same screen output okay the same screen output all right but then this time we are trying to convert printf in here by way of calling display another function we did use display function how many times twice all right two times same within here we we did use get value for how many times Two times also so uh, under display we did use display first and we passed parameters m a x i m u m for the maximum and whatever is the value of r our r in here represents the maximum value all right and the second usage of display is we are trying to bring the word minimum plus the value of s it's actually the minimum value right so this is it so when we are going to, to, to change this one to capital M, right? Okay. And capital M, um, no problem. Okay. When you run this program, um, uh, 67, 45, percent K, maximum and minimum is now in big letter. All right. We can even use this as, okay. Uh, for example, big, uh, bigger, uh, uh, higher value, higher, uh, say for example, higher, all right, higher, uh, G, H, right, E, R, higher value, and we have here an extra M, so we'll just have an empty, in here, lower, right, lower and we have another empty space in here two empty space right so when a particular function needs to have as num as, as as many as these uh, parameters you have to pass the same number of parameters okay uh, though in here there is an empty space but this is still a parameter an empty parameter same with here we have two empty spaces in here but we have to put right we have to include empty space because um, our program will not run right so in this particular example we try to run this program okay we are passing different parameters instead of maximum we pass it we pass high higher or lower right so 45 uh, 67 when you press enter k look at this higher and lower okay 
it depends on your parameters that you pass all right and look at this there are this there there is this three blank all right vacant space because of the empty parameters that we pass same with this one all right so um that's it um you know we can even you we can even use uh we can even change in here the para the passing of parameters no problem all right so uh for example we'll we'll try to instead of integer please follow my screen okay we'll convert it to car right so that we'll be passing character value for parameters so we can right we can make use of first diba? Uh, Cebuano language, right? Uh, two, for example, or English language, right? Two, for example, and in here uh, we can use um, one, right? So no problem, no problem, okay? So here, and then um, we have to. To change in here instead of where is that here instead of present day because we we convert it into character so we'll change it to C same with this one we'll change it to car all right I, I, I hope you're following when we are going to run this program um, instead of saying enter first value enter one number so 23 enter two number so it depends upon because this one is actually parameters. Two are also parameters. T W O, right? And when you press enter K, that's it. All right. So that's you know function programming is uh, is uh, so technical, but then you love at it when you are so familiar and, and uh, when you are, you know, oh I I I am enjoying using function program. I love passing of parameters. Yeah. We have so many coming examples in this. All right. Um, I would like to suggest uh, take this function programming video seriously. Okay. You have to be a master of this one. All right. Because this is your stepping stone to OOP or uh, uh, what is this? Object oriented. Uh, programming language and uh, if you are not uh, good at this okay if you're not good in in, in uh, function programming uh, you'll find it so hard when you're you'll be dealing with uh, object-oriented uh, programming uh, concept all right so uh, I would like to inform you that will I'll be posting so many videos about uh, function programming and after function programming, we'll be discussing array, right? Array, and then after array, we'll be discussing uh, pointers, right? Uh, uh, it is so uh, pointers actually is a very hard topic in programming, but uh, we'll try. We will try. Okay. So thank you so much for now. Thank you for. Um, Staying loyal to Kuya Igor. God bless you. God bless us.